Matthew went beyond the physical performance to find a way to make relevant sculpture based on history on, on one part and narrative filmmaking, but not filmmaking as a filmmaker, filmmaking as a sculpture. The title of the work is Jed, and Jed is a ancient Egyptian hieroglyph that is associated with the god Osiris. And it's a work that's really made from, you know, taking this cut up car, putting it into a furnace, and casting it into what is essentially another form of the car. It syncs up to the narrative of the film, which is a story of the protagonist, Norman Mailer, who is attempting to reincarnate. And ultimately, it's an idea of a kind of will to power that actually gets foiled. There's certainly a narrative thread that runs through all of this work. There's a kind of a system that's established with the film that leads to these narrative sculptures, that you know, out of this narrative, the sculptures are, are derived or distilled. Here there's an opportunity for the film to exist in tandem with the sculpture, which I haven't had before. The narrative can be understood uh, in proximity to the sculpture. On the other hand, I installed these works more you know, by thinking of the needs of the piece rather than the needs of the narrative. That's, it's unusual for me, I think to install a show in this way. This is an, an exhibition that has been carved out of uh, a water, physically and metaphorically. Uh, and if you look at the exhibition, there is this line on, on the walls, and uh, that was the football team pushing this block of, of graphite along the wall to draw this line that goes back to an early way of working by Matthew, the drawing restraint. But you look at you now the architecture and you have this line, like a water line after a flood. And this water line kind of holds the entire show together. You know, there's a kind of inevitable tendency for things to fail or for something to fail within a scene that I've always found really exciting. The, you know, the level of experimentation was was high in this project and not only was it sort of leading the way sculpturally it was also kind of creating a narrative arc or a dramatic arc for uh, the film. Beyond the form, beyond the intense subjectivity of Matthew's work, there is a true concern about where we are as a culture right now. The way that Matthew Barney hallucinates uh, from the, the source material he's working from is always, in my eyes, telling us something about American culture and about history.